Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we're going to be trying a new challenge using AI to design a floor plan that we will recreate in The Sims 4. So here in the game we're going to try and build a house, but we're going to base this Hey, why is there a fruitcake here? <laughs> but yeah, we're going to base this house on a completely generated floor plan. Now we're not using some specific tool for floor plans, we're going to use an image AI. And typically AIs, they can recreate nice bits of artwork and all that kind of stuff, but when it comes to creating something that makes sense, it doesn't really understand that. So we're essentially going to get a wacky looking floor plan, maybe with multiple things that don't make sense, but we're going to try and recreate it best we can. So down the bottom here, say the floor plan of a small home in The Sims 4. Then we just click on dream and hopefully it'll produce something. Okay, that's actually, that's actually not that bad. I mean, if you look at it closely, it doesn't make any sense. I don't think there's actually a wall here. Is that a plate of food on the floor? <laughs> okay, I need like a whole house though. The problem is it's kind of cutting it off. Let's try the entire floor plan of a small house in The Sims 4. Okay, yeah, uh, this actually, I mean, this kind of looks like a pool, but obviously it's a bed, but you know, this kind of works. So I'm gonna guess that's like a living area, obviously kitchen, bedroom, wardrobe. This well, kind of looks like a walk-in wardrobe still, but I'm maybe a bathtub. I'm not really sure what this is, <laughs> but let's, I think this is good. Let's let's start with this and then maybe we can try and get a second level. Okay, so I'm gonna have the image just below me so you can kind of see what I'm working on. Um, so the good news is it's a pretty simple little square. So let's just, well, let's figure out the scale. So we've got like a living, well, we got, let's start with the bedroom. So we got a double bed, so it's at least four wide. Let's just go a little bit smaller. Then I reckon at the end of the bed, there's probably like two tiles of space. And then we have like this wardrobe set up. And then it's just kind of open to, to the rest of the space. So I think, yeah, I think this is three wide here. Then there's like a little one section like that, then maybe double. I don't know, it's kind of like, I, I think maybe it's supposed to be a bathroom, potentially, <laughs> but who knows. And then I'm just gonna say that whatever this next thing is, it's a bedroom. I don't know that it is, but this is gonna be our second bedroom there. And then the rest of this just kind of, a bit of a living space. This scale is wild. Let's get counters. So we've got a kitchen right there in the middle. That's easy. It's so maybe like two tiles away from this wall. So it'd be about this far in, maybe about, let's just put it here to start with. <laughs> Why is the kitchen so small and like weirdly in the middle? <laughs> and then it's like maybe two tiles like back like that. I think it's even further back. I think it's here and then this is here. And then we just have this huge space in the middle. And surprisingly, it kind of looks like the living room is like down a platform. I actually am gonna make the walls taller again because I think the walls might be a little bit taller. This layout is pretty cavernous. <laughs> it's looking good though. <laughs> I love that this AI and also the previous AI we've used in the past, it just puts like a bunch of plants everywhere. It's just like, cause it's, it's the sim. So there's gotta be plants. You know, that flooring kind of looks like kind of this one, but maybe darker. So not quite that color, but it's kind of got like that wavy texture to it. Maybe like this one, it's kind of wavy. There's a big purple rug in the bedroom. Actually, you know what? That kind of looks like that. <laughs> you know, that kind of looks like it. All right, now let's go back over here. I think maybe what I might try to do is let's get like the basic stuff in, but let's get like the layout and positioning of stuff. Now I'm gonna do carpet down here. I think it's probably concrete. I'm just knowing because it's Sims, but I'll do carpet. Also, this kind of looks like a half wall <laughs> in the back, but I'm gonna leave it as a solid wall. And then it's like a built-in wardrobe. It kind of looks like windows more than anything, but I'm just gonna use the uh, built-in one from get together. All right, then this has the same flooring in here. And then I guess this is kind of also weird. Like this room's kind of split in two. Maybe it's just this rug again. <laughs> I, I don't really know what it's supposed to be. And then that I'm just gonna put a door there because I'm just gonna say this is the bathroom. I'm not gonna have a wall here. This would be a bathroom. We'll do, maybe this is like a shower tub combo here or something. We'll do that. All right, window wise, looks like this, but like red. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do red. <laughs> I think I'll just, like I said, we'll, we'll kind of do the same sort of layout, but I think maybe hopefully make it look a little bit better. 
This is a giant window here. I'm going to use this one. Very nice. Or should we just do the white? Maybe we go black. Maybe this should be black frame as well. So we just, you know, get that. And then actually there's a big window here too. Hmm, that one's white. Maybe the white is just easier. Let's just do white window frames. So I did this window. I don't know if I really want that there. I think I'll just use this uh, snow escape one. There's not really a window that goes there. Uh, and then there's a couple windows here. Or maybe the door. I guess maybe that's the door to the house. So I guess I should probably rotate the entire lot actually. So then we can have the front door by the front. Now it kind of looks like a huge door, like bigger than two tiles, but like I think it might be better just to do a regular door. I'm gonna do this and then make the door wider with some glass. Yeah, that's a good looking house. <laughs> and then we need a bedroom door maybe there somewhere. All right, then we just got beige walls. Very nice. <laughs> it's like a really plain beige. It's actually a little darker than that. Yeah, maybe like this color. Lovely. Okay, so it kind of looks like we have a built-in, or maybe this whole thing's a stove actually, kind of looks like it. So it kind of looks like we got a stove here and then also a stove top here. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, like that. Because it kind of looks like there's another one on this side. There's not really, from, from what I can tell, a fridge um, or a sink. <laughs> I guess I might add them in. It kind of looks wider than three tiles because if that's like a two tile window, which I don't know. I mean, like I said, the scale's all up in these things. Let's just put a fridge there, even though there's not really one there. And then maybe what I'll do, I'm just gonna extend this and then put a sink. Wow, that's a house. So the leaves that it's using is very clearly like an outdoor tree. It, it, you know what, it kind of looks exactly like the leaves of this tree. Yeah, look at this. That Does that not look like the exact same leaf texture? So maybe should we scale it down and put these in? <laughs> And then if we just put like a pot or something, it might work. Oh, I know actually, the um, from Desert Lux. Oh, actually it's a coffee table, this thing. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> See, look, we did it. We got the exact same setup. And then there's like one here, one here. Oh, no wonder this didn't fit. I picked the completely wrong one, sorry. All right, then we need a plant. Looks like here, here, and then also awkwardly here for some reason. Now, it looks like it's blocking like a mirror. Now it looks like we have a rug over there that's like pink. Do we have a pink version of a rug? I mean, maybe just this. It's similar, we'll just do that. Now I'm not sure what is here, or like what that's supposed to be. Also it looks like we have more plants or something down the side, maybe like a whole row of tables or something down the side. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks, that looks good, I added in a TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with this. Okay, maybe happy is a... I have a statement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a mirror here. So it's like behind the plant, kind of like they've got it. You know, it kind of it kind of does look like a mirror because it kind of looks like it's reflecting a little bit or something. I don't know. All right, do we have a bed that looks like it's covered in wood with blue pillows? Is that a thing? Maybe we just go this sort of bed. I mean, that's pretty good. That's nice. We got beige floor in the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, th this bathroom, as I'm calling it, is not even really a bathroom. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to do it as like a bath combo. And then I'm going to do a shower next to it, which actually, no, that doesn't make any sense. Let's not do that because <laughs> there's a shower in the bath. I, or I could do a bath and then a shower. But I think I'll do uh, the combo. And then, I mean, I don't know what is actually there. Maybe just like, a, let's just do a sink. There you go. Uh, then we need a toilet, but there is no toilet. So we're just going to add one. Beautiful. I feel like I shouldn't be spending much time on this because it's just... <laughs> this is bad. I was gonna, I th think maybe we do a loft bed in here. Like maybe that's what it is, you know? Kind of looks like a bluish, let's do that. Is that a potty? It kind of looks like a toddler potty, like a red potty. This is what it looks like right here. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna put a toddler bed underneath. You know, you can't see that from above. <laughs> I'm gonna do a toy chest there. Maybe it's like a little seat kind of thing. Wait, is this even a seat? Can you use that to sit on? Comfort one, yeah, I think so. Looking good. I mean, that's pretty much the floor plan. Um, <laughs> it's lovely. I mean, I I changed some stuff, you know, added a toilet. Um, I guess I didn't do the plants and stuff over here. Maybe I should do that. Kind of looks like it's the dream home decorator thing. Let's just do that. There's like a little plant in a red pot. Oh, that's it. It's definitely this one. Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe maybe it's like a coffee table or something. I kind of just left it because I was like, I don't know what that's supposed to be like here. And there's also something there. So maybe we'll just do like, and then I might just do a side table kind of thing. Yeah, let's do that. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good looking house if I don't say so myself. <laughs> right, should we see if we can get like a second level? The upstairs bedroom floor plan of a small house in The Sims 4. This can't possibly go wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about we? Okay, let's get rid of upstairs. Let's just say bedroom floor plan. Okay, we're back to squares. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Double toilet, twin toilet action, let's go. All right, this is, oh my gosh, this is a floor plan from, how does this work? Uh, there's a tiny room that, that's definitely a bedroom. How do you get to it? I don't think you do. <laughs> so this will be fun to build. So we're gonna do this as the upstairs. Um, <laughs> you know what, maybe we turn this into like a shell challenge. So you guys will download this house afterwards and fix it. It won't be like a shell challenge, but maybe a fix, a fixer up a challenge, shall we say. You renovate the house. Maybe that's what we should do because this is just going to be a mess. All right, so that's going to be my upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Obviously, we have to put actual stairs in somewhere, so I'll just do that. Let me put, so we've obviously got space down here, so I'm going to put some stairs here somewhere. It's really awkward because we got the, yeah, we got this open space and then there's like a hallway here. Okay, this beautiful L-shaped staircase here, which by the way, these stairs don't work very well as an L. Maybe I should change them. All right, I just redo it so we have like walls. Okay, that's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm committed to, to you guys like fixing this up and then we'll like do a video where we look at what the changes everyone made. I think that'll be fun. I'm just making it beige so it matches the house. Beautiful. All right, let's get the floor plan going here. So we've got like a three wide window up here, maybe-ish, and then a room, maybe like that. I, the scale of that floor plan, I think is a little bit bigger than the down, or a little bit smaller than the one we have downstairs. So hang on, it's gone wrong. I need to push. I don't have enough room down the bottom. I need to push it this way a little bit. Okay, I think that works. And then here and here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and then obviously the stuff we have in the middle of this room on that little floor plan below is not really gonna work. So we'll just have to shuffle it around. I kind of think we have a bit more space here than we need, but with the shape of the building, I guess it makes sense. Maybe it would be better if we could do it this way, actually. Oh, actually, that might work, because then the stairs might actually line up in the room at the bottom. You know what? Hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip this around, because I think we'll have more room if we build this way where it's a bit longer. Okay, so this is what I've done instead. It doesn't, again, it doesn't quite line up. Obviously, these bottom rooms here are probably supposed to be more square, but with the way the stairs sit, it actually fits this way, so I'm just going to do that. Um, but other than that, I think the rest of them are kind of in scale. Okay, so upstairs we have a lighter floorboard than downstairs. That's nice. Really open up the space a bit. We'll use the same floorboard, but just make it uh, lighter. This is actually a solid floor by the looks of it, and actually this one too. I think that's just a rug in this room by the looks of it. It's fine. I'll just do this like beige kind of concrete thing. We actually have white walls upstairs, which is, you know, pretty nice. I like that. The classic move by me. There we go. Right, I'm just going to get all the windows in. I'm just going to use tall windows in this room too, because otherwise things are just going to get real messy. I think I'll try to use similar windows kind of everywhere around this level. I might need to... <laughs> I might need to change the windows we have downstairs so we have some sort of continuity. Oh, you know what, actually, it's not that bad. You know what, why don't I change it to these? So instead of the black frame windows with the like the same white frame windows. And I'll just do the smaller one so at least it matches scale with downstairs. Yeah, you know what, that's actually not that bad. Look, outside is definitely a box, but it's not that bad. And it looks like there's a window here maybe, and maybe one here. Honestly, hard to say. I don't know if there's anything there. So. I guess with that, we're done with the exterior. <laughs> I am interested to see uh, what you guys do to make this look a little bit nicer. Uh, what can I do to make this look nicer? Maybe if we do that and then have like a couple of little perky Addy boys here. That's quite nice. It looks a little, almost a little regal now. A little royal kind of looking. Problem is I guess I've got to come more of a modern exterior look and then I've got this old style roof. <laughs> All right, what would this be built out of? Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> okay, the scale of this house is so off. Like, this is way too big for this kind of exterior, but what we're going with. Working with what we got. Oh, this front facade. It's okay. It's about the, it's about the floor plan. All right, let's get some doors. I'm just going to use what I was using downstairs, which actually I might change these to just a white. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and assume this is a door, not just an empty archway. Um, there is no way to get into this room. <laughs> At least from the floor plan, not that I can see. This looks like it's just a mirror there. There looks like there's a door maybe to this section. Let's just take creative liberties because we're gonna need doors. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is like the entrance to this room through here. And there's like some weird couch or something there. I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, maybe it's like a vanity. Actually, you know what? It kind of does look like a vanity. Now that I look at it, it looks like it has like a mirror on top there. So let's say it's like that. Okay, that's all right. Then here kind of looks like this is like a built-in wardrobe almost for the hallway, which is kind of strange. I'm going to do an archway here to our staircase. You know what this house looks like? It kind of looks like my very first Sims build ever. Not even first Sims 4 build, just 
first Sims build. I guess maybe the AI is learning, you know, this is the first build it's ever done, so it's trying. Now there is like some sort of box thing here. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like a bedroom area maybe, but obviously we've turned it into stairs, so whatever. Uh, I'm gonna put a door here, a door, door. Kind of looks like there's maybe a window here actually, now that I look at it right here, maybe three. Oh, you know what might make the outside look better? A freeze, maybe do a nice floor trim, just to break up the top and bottom. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I think I need to put some windows here though, cause it's kind of suffering, isn't it? <laughs> Can I do these or is this too much? <laughs> It doesn't go with any of the rest of the house, that's the problem. If I just do this then... Yeah, that's that's nice. Okay. Alright, let's get the show on the road. This is not a, this is not a masterpiece. Let's just get some toilets in here. This is, in fact, quite frankly, a disaster of a house. So let's get the twin toilets in. Get the shower. This room also, I don't think, has a door. We'll add one in. I'm gonna do one of these little vanities over here. Doesn't quite have the same color, but we'll go with that. Get a rug. This is like in the corner and then the rug is like kind of more square though, but I don't know. Is there a white square rug? Oh, maybe this, hang on. Just scale it down, I guess. Do we have a leopard print double bed? Cause that's what it looks like. <gasps> I mean, this bed's way fancier than what I think is. You know, actually, maybe it is this bed. It kind of looks like the base of the bed is this in AI form. <laughs> we'll scale that down underneath. And there's definitely something at the end. I think this is needing to be there. I need like a really thin um, table because I think a full size one's going to take up too much room. So maybe one of these sort of end tables. Or we just do this. That's a bit too rounded. Yeah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> All right, that's the bedroom and vanity. Maybe there's some mirrors over there? I, I can't be sure. I'm not really sure what's going on in these areas. Like maybe it's a sink for the bathroom? I mean, it looks like there's maybe a mirror or something here. This bathroom is definitely, I think, scale. Like the scale of this is kind of all off. Like the AI also just makes the toilets bigger because if you compare it to other stuff in the floor plan, they're kind of like this. <laughs> okay, well, why don't we put a sink in here and then let's just do a door here and then... <laughs> <laughs> this makes like uh, absolutely zero sense because it's like, yeah, sometimes you have the toilets in a separate room than the sink. So you can, you know, you can wash your hands while someone else is going to the toilet or whatever, but you have to go through the, to the double toilet room to get to the sink. <laughs> that makes no sense. But you know, the AI knows best. All right, we need a blue looking rug. I feel that rug is kind of exactly, is it like this kind of one, but blue? No. It kind of looks like that texture though, doesn't it? I think maybe this one just scaled down. It's it's maybe a little bit more blue than it should be, but that's okay. Now, I don't know what is in this room. Is it just like tables or something? <laughs> I don't think there's any couches. Let's get a couple of these. Maybe just all just lighter color. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's good. Not really sure what's in the middle of this rug, but that's okay. Then this is kind of like over here, maybe blocking that door a bit. Now there's like a weird sort of triangle shaped one here. Maybe we'll just do like one of those. Yeah, it could look like it could be one of those. That's nice. <laughs> uh, there is like a smidge of green over here, like some sort of plant. We do like, do like that. There is something on the wall there too, but I've got a door there, so I'll just leave it. I don't know what the heck is supposed to be here. Like what is that at the bottom of the frame just here? <laughs> <laughs> like some huge wall panel of something. I don't know, maybe I'll leave that. Maybe we leave the floor plan like this. Uh, so we've got like a bedroom there, which actually has, oh yeah, you go through there. There's like a weird void in the middle. Uh, bedroom, I guess, maybe through these doors over there. So here's what we're gonna do because this is atrocious and this is by far my worst ever build. I mean, kind of embarrassed to upload this to the gallery or even as a video. But this is the AI, this is a challenge, okay? So what I want you guys to do is download this lot without changing the actual wall placements. You can completely refurnish this however you want, like do the refurnishment. You don't have to change, like no changing the walls. You can change all the window positions and all that, like windows and doors, everything can change. Like if you wanted to change the layout, so like there was a door here instead, you can do that. But just don't change where the actual walls are. I will say, I will allow a wall to be placed here to make that a closed room because that's a bit strange. Um, but other than that, I think keep the walls where they are. You can change everything else. <laughs> but you can't add any more walls on the outside. It has to stay this shape on the outside. But you can do, I will say, like, obviously change the roof. Uh, and I will say you can add like a platform or something if you want to make the roof stick out or whatever. Or, you know, get creative with it. The AI has not... Uh, 
taken over designing Sims builds. The exteriors it gives are sometimes interesting and can spark creativity. The interiors are atrocious. Like this is this is really bad. Like really bad and, and that. Um, it's pretty cool that it can even figure out how to do something that looks like a, like a floor plan, but um, it's it stops there very, very quickly. Anyway, I mean, I hope you're not too disappointed with how ugly this build is, uh, <laughs> you know. This was a little bit of an experiment to use the AI to do floor plans. I think we could do this again, maybe with new floor plans where I ignore the furnish placements, but then use the floor plan to build a house. Uh, so kind of like what I'm challenging you guys to do with this so that we end up with a house that actually looks good uh, rather than this. But it was a fun challenge and something different. May we never have to look at this build again until you guys renovate it and make it good. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.